Okay, so we're continuing on with Cauchy's integral formula. Okay, so what we've said is that the maximum modulus this integral could take, we're ignoring the 2 pi i bit now, uh, in fact, let's take that out. Uh, we just want to bound the mac value of this integral. Uh, and the maximum mo modulus it could take is the maximum modulus of that the integrand takes over the contour multiplied by the length of the contour. Well, the length of the contour is easy, that's going to be 2 pi r. So now we want to bound this integrand. Well, what's the modulus of f of, uh, of the integrand? Well, it's the modulus of f of w minus f of a over w minus a, which is equal to f of w minus f of a, the modulus of, of the numerator divided by the modulus of the denominator. Now, the modulus of the denominator is actually extremely easy because we have our contour is a beautiful little circle. So the modulus of the bottom bit is always the same. So that is going to be equal to the top, the numerator, which is this, over the radius r. Now is where we use the definition of, of our function being continuous. Because if our function is continuous, then what's the definition of continuous? This is the reciting bit off, the bit where you recite it off. For all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a delta greater than zero such that if the um, if the complex number z is contained within the ball uh, center the a of um, in fact I should use the letter W since we're using that there. If W is contained within the ball around A of radius delta rather, of radius delta, then uh, then uh, the difference between F of W and F of A is less than epsilon. So basically what that tells us is that you give me any epsilon you want greater than zero, I can find you a radius to make a little open disk around A uh, such that uh, this is true, such that if you take any W that's within that disk, then the value of this, of this is less than epsilon. Okay, so that tells us that if you want, you, I, I can basically, that I can make this less than any epsilon you want, is what it tells us. It tells us that I can make that this can be made less than epsilon over r. Why? Because for all epsilon, I can pick a delta. So I pick uh, the choice of the radius was arbitrary. So I just pick the radius such that this is true. And the definition of continu continuity, if the function is continuous, I'm told by the definition of continuity that I can do that. OK, so that's excellent. Uh, so now what we know is that the integral, the uh, the uh, uh, size of the um, integrand is um, well. So uh, the integral, the mod, the size of the integral, center the a of um, radius r um, of what was it? F of w minus f of a divided by w minus a dw. The integral of that. Uh, is less than epsilon over r times 2 pi r. So it's less than 2 pi epsilon. So, and that is true for all epsilon greater than 0. I just change my radius here, and but we know that all of these integrals are the same size because by Cauchy's theorem. So that means that this integral, that the integral over gamma of um, that the integral uh, that this must equal zero basically because we're told that the modulus can be made as small as you like and it's um, so the only and it has to be a positive real number so the only number that satisfies that condition is zero and as soon as you know that the modulus of a complex number is zero there's only one complex number that has a modulus of zero and that's zero so that tells us that the integral over any closed curve gamma of f of w w minus a, 1 over 2 pi i, dw, uh, dw rather, is equal to f of a. So that's the proof of Cauchy's, Cauchy's theorem. I'm sorry, I'm very tired. Um,